Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to showcase my modular pawn system with custom content. Uh, please note that this custom content does not actually come included with the blueprints. I'm just giving you the tools to swap out and then whatever meshes you need. So I'll open up my, uh, my equipment menu. Uh, also note in the top left we have our equipment stats. So this gets calculated uh, once each piece of equipment gets changed, it recalculates. So I've just switched out the whole character. He's got this cool, I guess, ranger look to him. And then I'll switch over to this guy, this other client, and then do the same. And maybe a I want to keep the robe and then just change the pants. Alright, so that is my modular pawn system with custom content. Uh, basically the custom content is up to you guys. Uh, I'm just giving you the tools to set everything up. So, I go into my pawn and then everything that we have for content is set up through here. This is from you know what equipment slot it needs to go in, the name of it, uh, the actual stats of the equipment, uh, whether the equipment is locked or unlocked. Uh, that's basically telling the player if he has the item or not. The actual mesh for this item and then the animation class that you're going to be using. Um, then we can go in and change how many slots. Currently I have three slots. I can change it to four, five, six. And then in our actual component, all we have is our character movement, an empty mesh component. Everything is generated on runtime. So yeah, that's currently what I have right now. I'll be adding a more dynamic way to add stats, I'll be trying to figure that out as well as a better inventory system that way you guys have a good idea of how you can manage um, the current inventory or the global equipment thanks for watching